So you saw the title of the video and no, that is not clickbait. That is 100% true and let me explain why. Welcome to our channel. You are probably new and watching this and I have a message from YouTube. So this channel covers almost all things homesteading, but YouTube is not allowing my subscribers to see all of the information. I recently dove deep into my analytics and I watched interviews with YouTube employees, high up employees, telling us specific information about how YouTube works nowadays. And it is totally different from how it used to work when I started YouTube 10 years ago. And friends, part of this is my fault for not changing over that time period. Today, I'm just doing some random repair tasks here on the homestead and I have a hundred of these jobs to do, but I'm not going to film them for my subscribers because they pretty much will never ever see them. And this is information coming straight from YouTube. Now, I have about 3000 of you who are very loyal. You've hit all the uh, notification bells and the subscription and all that kind of stuff, but it's still hard for you to be able to see any of my new videos. And I'm not naive to think that somebody who subscribed to my channel for a bread video does not want to watch a solar video. I get that. My original intention for this channel was to bring a wide breadth of information, of different information to homesteaders. And if you are a homesteader, then you have to have a wide varying knowledge of different types of information to do different types of jobs. But somebody who subscribed for just solar information doesn't want to watch that other stuff. I get that, I respect that, and that's no problem. But diving deeper into those interviews with YouTube employees, I have gleaned some very good information. What they basically came out and said is subscribers don't matter. They are irrelevant. That shocked me to hear them say that, but looking into my numbers on the back end of this channel, it holds true that YouTube doesn't care about subscribers. So if I want this channel to grow, to continue to be semi-successful, I cannot make videos for my subscribers anymore. Now I know some of you got upset and clicked off and unsubscribed. I'm sorry about that comment, but it's just the way YouTube works now. If this channel is going to survive, and I mean really survive and still be here next week, I have to attract new viewers. And the only way to do that is not only topically, but you got to get creative with titles and thumbnails or nobody is ever going to see them. Friends, only two and a half percent of my subs watch my videos. I released a video the other day. Less than a thousand people watched it out of 423,000 subscribers. It's a good informational video. It's clear. It's succinct. It's not bad. Although I am always trying to improve. This is not a bad video, but YouTube will not push it out even to my subscribers and videos that I've made that are very similar to that have done well in the past, but it's getting worse. That interview with the guy that was high up at YouTube was very, very revealing. He said that the videos that do the best sell. They elicit emotion through sales techniques. And you need to do that title, thumbnail, in your first 30 seconds of your video. You need to sell yourself, you need to sell your idea, and you need to keep people guessing. You have to elicit emotion. And you see so many YouTube channels doing that nowadays and they get tons and tons of views. So I'm at a crossroads. I have what I believe is very valuable information for you, but it's not being seen because I'm not doing those things like eliciting emotion, so on and so forth. I'm going to compare two channels very quickly and you will see a stark contrast. The gardening channel with James Prigioni and MI Gardener both over a million subs, but one got there way faster than the other. James is a very animated guy and he has great information. The way he presents it is awesome. Luke from MI Gardener has better information. He's been doing it longer and he has more knowledge. In my opinion, Luke has 1.3 million subscribers and he maybe gets 10 to 20,000 views per video. James, on the other hand, has 1.75 million subscribers and he gets 
100,000 views per video. What's the difference, friends? Personality and connection and charisma. Luke is a very reserved guy and I love him, but James is in your face and bam, this is how you do it. And he gets more views because of it. But his information is not necessarily better. It's because you connected with him on an emotional level. You saw the excitement in his voice and in his title and thumbnail. You can see Luke at MI Gardener has started to change his titling and his views have gone up slightly. But a lot of homesteading channels out there have actually turned into channels that are not homesteading channels anymore, like Doug and Stacy. Now, I love their channel. I've been subscribed for years. I still am subscribed to their channel, but I don't watch much. They are eliciting emotion through talking about current events. I'm not going to do that here on this channel, but I do need to make some changes. Or the information that I'm trying to convey for free to everyone will never be seen. I may or may not show little jobs like this anymore. And I would love to hear from the two or 3,000 of you who normally watch why you watch. So there you go, folks. YouTube has changed. And if I'm going to use this to be able to support my family still, I need to change along with it. And sadly, that leaves out subscribers. So friends, like I said, I might not see you for a while. I'm gonna dive deep down into some topics that people are looking for because fixing a Toro pole saw is not on the top of everybody's list. I want to create value for you, but YouTube is free to watch. It's free information. And thankfully, because of the ads, it helps my family out. And that has diminished by over half since last year with roughly the same amount of views. So if the YouTube landscape is changing, I need to change along with it. I'm not gonna change me as a person, I am who I am, but you might see some different topics and different things. I wish the old YouTube was still here, but it is not. And it's gonna continue to change with AI. That is annoying, but it is what it is. So you can still look forward to seeing some solar installation videos on my channel, talking about solar systems. I absolutely love doing stuff like that. And we're gonna hit key things like gardening, chickens, rainwater, etc. But we're gonna have longer periods of time between videos. You see that on channels all the time. They take a break and it's a once a month type of deal. So in order for me to create that value and take care of my family, I will step back a little bit. And hopefully we can continue to grow this channel together. Have a beautiful blessed day and I'll see you next time.